Well, g'day everyone. I hope everyone's surviving COVID-19 restrictions okay. Uh, one of the questions we get asked the most is um, when are we going to start accepting donations again? The short answer is for everyone's safety and sanity, we're just going to wait until COVID restrictions have been lifted. Now in the meantime, um, there's nothing stopping you, your school, your hospital, your, no your daycare centre, um, retirement village from still collecting. Um, what the main thing is that during 2020, we're just really urging everyone to make sure they don't drop off dirty vids anymore. Um, we had thousands of volunteers in 2019 and early 2020, and we've lost a few of them just because they can't cope with the volume of unwashed lids that are arriving at home. So please, from now on, make sure that every lid you donate um, is washed. And I'm just gonna do a quick um, update to show you how I wash lids at home. Um, so I've got a tub here that's coming from somewhere. So this could be your tub that you've got from school, as I said, from your local cafe, um, restaurant, um, from your local businesses and the most important thing to do before you wash them is mostly check out they're eligible as you know we only collect um, milk bottle lids water bottle lids and soft drink bottle lids if it's not one of those three types of lids or if it's got a rubber insert in it um, or if it's a pop top or if it's bigger than a milk lid um, we don't need those ones a lot of those ones if they're bigger than milk lid can go straight into your recycling bin um, and if it's ineligible because it's got a foam insert, they're the sort that you can donate to your local um, daycare centre or school because they might use it with craft. So anyway, so when you've got a big bag like this, um, the first thing to do is take out the milk insert, the little foam insert. It's pretty easy. You can just squeeze the lid and it'll pop out like that. Um, if it's a little bit more stubborn, um, you could get a little knife or a spoon or something like that to do it. But the reason we then need to wash these is you can see there's always a little bit worth of milk residue on the inside. So um, what I'll do now, um, I, I, I literally just wash my lids in the bath. So I just in completely hot water, no cold. And I let it run until it's probably got about three to four inches of water in it. So I don't need too much water. Um, probably, probably only about that much, just to cover off the lids and give them a, a little bit of room to swim around in there. And when I'm running the water, um, you don't need any particular um, desanitizer or anything like that. I just literally use clothes washing powder. And my son Eric's just going to walk forward and show you how much it's maybe it's a little cup, but it's not even two tablespoons. I just sprinkle that in. Um, so sort of bubble up and let it set there um, and then I said I only do it for a few inch uh, for a couple few inches but then going through the lids it'd be best if you had the lids ready to tip in in one go um, but I, I just throw them in there and as I said just make sure you don't throw the ones with the milk inserts in there um, I can't find any examples of ineligible lids but I'll go through that with another video so you can see here all of these ones without milk inserts can go in. Um, but take a close look at this one. This is a good example of some of the milk lids we get. If you haven't washed the lids before they're dropped off, or if your volunteers haven't done that before they've dropped them off to you, these get pretty mouldy pretty quickly. And you can probably appreciate a garbage bag or a box or a plastic tub full of these guys after a few days, let alone a few weeks, really starts to smell. So that's why we wash them. Um, it doesn't take long to fill up the bath, so that's, that's already enough for me. Um, so as I said, pull out, pull out all the milk, milk inserts, chuck them all in. I probably let them sit for maybe an hour or two, swishing them around a couple of times. Um, that's all it takes, but quite often because I'm a dad, I forget all about them and don't come back for two or three days. Um, or it'll be when my three boys complain that they can't get into the bath because it's full of lids and they want it back for their toys. So that, that's just a quick one about how I wash them. There are some brave souls out there that use other techniques, some that even use their own washing machine. Um, I don't necessarily recommend that for two reasons. One, it's really important that all of our volunteers stay married. I don't want your partner to kill you because you're using your domestic appliances. Um, the other reason is that we're trying to keep this project as sustainable and I guess CO2 responsible as possible. So whilst you are washing the lids, I've used a little bit of, um, I guess, energy there because I'm using hot water, so whatever energy was used to heat that water up. But if you're using your washing machine, you're gonna be using electricity. So it's okay if you'd like to, um, particularly if your energy that you've got for your household is 100% renewable. 
Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'd, I'd strongly encourage everyone to use just simple methods. And if you live in a high-rise apartment and you don't have a bath, um, you can do it in a plastic tub itself. Um, or if you're in a community where you've actually got a lot of volunteers, what we do is we put these plastic tubs outside our house and we have swap and go volunteers. So when we get some lids, um, we have volunteers that come in from primary schools and hospitals and nursing homes. They take the tub away, they wash the lids and they bring them back all beautifully dried and colour sorted. The last thing I should mention before I finish is that once you've dried the lids, um, and sorry, once you've washed them, dry them. Please dry them properly and let them air out because you don't want to be bagging them up um, wet because even if there's a little bit of moisture in there, um, they'll go mouldy. But I'll go through drying in another video. But that's it. That's it for washing. Thanks very much for your patience and happy collecting.